obviously I know how to fly the airplane, but every six months, me what is the name of the new bike of the 20 so I'm getting two of each color so it's limited so go ahead and uh, check it out as soon as you can at my website see all of these these are all returns these are all returns that waited for me for the last eight days. Amazon and stuff like that. So I do all the returns. I got a lot of, I have so many boxes waiting for me. So many upgrades. Hey guys, I just got home after this whole long week away from home being, you know, my simulator training. I got a lot of boxes waiting for me. This is one of the boxes that I got. And I'm delighted and excited to tell you that Custom Dynamics has sent me a box of goodies. They've heard about the Lowrider ST and they're helping me out with that. So let me open it up real time with you guys. Obviously expect some nice uh, little installs and upgrades on the bike. For now, let's see what we got here. Stickers, some nice stickers. We got socks. Oh, look, we got custom dynamics, custom dynamic socks. Oh, and a cool hat. Oh, Pro Beam by Custom Dynamics. Let me put it on. <laughs> okay, what it is is pretty much uh, I spoke with Karen in Custom Dynamics. Very nice. Thank you, Karen. Thank you so much. We went through the options they have for the Lowrider ST. We're going to go through a change of all lighting to leds with the proper lens oh the triple yeah the triple triple play it's called yeah triple play which changes the function of the tail light and the signal light to running lights we're gonna have an install with that oh this is for the front the leds i got a few options because i wasn't sure which which way I want to go with the front lights. Believe oh, this is for the back. I don't remember. The truth is I don't remember. But I got all the possible options. Oh, and a license plate. A plate frame mount. Nice curve. And so that's it. Stay tuned for that, guys. A lot of more boxes waiting in my room. And another box, as I said, from Advan Black. An essential part. An essential part for... For Blackbird's tour pack. I think this is actually the mount. This is the mount that was uh, the rack. Oh, yeah. The tour pack mount. Again, Advan Black, thank you very much. Custom Dynamics, thank you so, so much. So, guys, there's another box over here that I just opened it up and I can't really show you what it is because that's a total surprise. I don't even know where to start. My head's spinning. So I'm going to start with uh, re running around, returning this stuff. I left the house nine days ago and I had to fly back to Israel. From there, I operated a flight to Paris. Hey, good morning, guys. I'm in Tel Aviv, Israel. I'm flying now to Paris. Flying to Paris as crew. There, I get off uh, the airplane and transfer as a passenger to Amsterdam. I'm going for my, my semi-annual recurrent. Every six months, we do uh, flight training in a simulator and then we do a route check. So that's where I'll be staying the next few days. Hope I'll be able to get you some cool footage. Have you ever uh, driven a Rolls Royce? Well, I've flown one. I fly a Rolls Royce. Ever wondered how we eat like this?
from Paris. I flew as a passenger to Amsterdam, arrived there at night. Then I had a three-day course, a three-day training, actually. Every six months, I don't know if you're aware of it or not, but every pilot, every commercial pilot, every six months has to go through a training process, a route check, like a simulator check. It's done on a simulator. And obviously I know how to fly the airplane, but every six months train you again for like four hours in a simulator and they teach you and train you again how to do all the complicated procedures, emergency cases where they're like, you know, God forbid there is an engine failure, fire, loss of engines. I want to, I don't want to scare you, but all these uh, procedures and uh, cases that, that can happen, very rarely can happen, but you don't practice them, uh, thank God, you don't practice them on a daily basis, but you always need to know how to, you know, manage the situation, manage the aircraft. So every six months, every pilot, every commercial pilot does this uh, training. After those, after that training, you actually have to have a route check, an exam, and you have to pass it. It's These are the simulators, a huge hall. Uh, with uh, eight boxes, each box is quite a few million dollars worth of electronics, hydraulics and stuff. Moving around, twisting, jumping, simulating an airplane. New York City, huh? New York City. That's okay. Flips 20. Flaps 20. Okay. okay, vertical speed, 300 feet. Rear landing checklist. Speed break, you shall flaps. Flaps 30. Uh, checklist completed, landing checklist completed. 500. Stabilize. Check. One hundred, fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten. Speed break up. Reverse normal. We did it again. Back at the gate. Mission accomplished. The simulator simulates 100% exactly the same as an airplane would. I got some great uh, time off a little bit over there. So guys, I'm done. I'm done with uh, the practice. And there's extra time, there's great weather out. And uh, let's go uh, check out the local Harley Davidson dealership. And when in Rome, act like a Roman. So I'm in Amsterdam and I'm taking a bicycle. A nice little bike ride over there.
is what you call real riding. Davidson Amsterdam they actually have rentals that's what I see over here I'm gonna check it check it out with them Berlin Davidson Amsterdam uh, this custom build from a night walk Color. Look at the paint job we made. There you go, the Street Glide ST in vivid black, 39, 195 euro. I think it's pretty much the same price as in the States. got over here guys look what I just see you know what that means we get some for you guys this 2013 road light CVO come how it's in mint condition One is for you, FNR. Sand Dune, 42,000 for a CVO. So guys, let's get some uh, poker chips for you guys. I'm getting two of each color, so it's limited. So go ahead and uh, check it out as soon as you can at my website and grab some from Amsterdam. The real thing, 
Let's see what else I can get. Thank you. So a lot of CVOs over here. Um, I would say medium-sized dealership, and but you know what? You've seen one uh, dealership, you've pretty much seen them all. It's just the different uh, used bikes they have and the unique items for that dealership. The shirts, the emblems, the the build, the, how it looks, it's, it's different. It's like you see a lot of smaller bikes over here. You're, you're seeing a lot of live wires over here because uh, Europe is going into electric. You can literally see from the window over here, you can see the the windmill, the electric uh, wind generators over there all around. So I got some poker chips for you guys. Check them out. Not gonna get any t-shirts because uh, they're a bit pricey. There's a serial one e-bike. First one I've actually seen in person. I've seen it online. That's it guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. I actually did ask them if they have rentals and they do. You can pretty much rent anything they have on the floor that belongs to them and the price is 109 euros for a day during the week and uh, during weekends it's more expensive like 190 per day and you can actually rent for a whole weekend. Call them up, check them out. Uh, they have the prices currently because of again supply chains, there's no inventory so they don't currently they don't have uh, rentals. But normal times, uh, there's rentals over here in Amsterdam, so check it out. I don't think this really works on wind. Maybe it does. Who knows, maybe it does. building is crooked because everything is built everything is built over here on on stilts there's literally a swamp underneath us Amsterdam is built all buildings are built on uh, wooden stilts all the way going down everything is crooked like look at this I don't know if you can see this oh my god <laughs> it's literally falling like it's tilting on on its side 1614 it was built i bet you it wasn't even straight then look how it's crooked over here look at the the seam they were once aligned <laughs> I was away from the family for nine days and uh, you know when I got home there was these tons and tons of new boxes that came and actually a lot of them are cool upgrades that I have coming in the next next few uh, videos additionally I was asked what's the thing with the patreons you know Fred Jose Mark and Chris thank you so much for being my first supporters my first patreons and uh, a lot of you were also asking what were what is that Patreons and where can you subscribe to that? So my Patreons are supporters, are subscribers that wanna be more involved with what's going on 
and there are a lot, a lot of nice perks and stuff. They're, they get in to see the videos first. They already know what the big secret is. The, we have our little chat group, group chat where we communicate. I was with them in contact when I was in uh, Amsterdam in Israel. So we get to talk. And if you guys want to become Patreons as well, there's a link down by the description. Check out my Patreons. There are different levels of involvement and contribution. So thank you very much for that, guys. Yesterday when I got back in, John, I literally got I got home seven o'clock in the morning after flying the whole night and not sleeping much. John called me, hey, you wanna come over? 12 o'clock, I have a live uh, stream. I said, John, I'm, I'm, I'm wiped out completely. He said, nah, come on, come on. I said, okay, yeah. So I went over to John's yesterday. It was cool, pretty cool. Uh, check it out. I don't know, did you get to see it uh, live? If not, then you're probably not subscribed. You didn't check the... Uh, the bell notifications because a lot of people down in the description said hey I, why how did i miss this so you gotta be subscribed you gotta you gotta be subscribed and make sure the bell notification uh lets you know when we go live or something like that but it was pretty cool it was pretty cool this is how we ha this is our setup this is john's setup right now for the live so what's up matt you're at work great man <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't, We're I don't doing know a live exactly. stream now. John is doing a live stream. We've been going on for like 50 minutes, brought all three bikes in and talking to you guys. A lot of you guys are there. Really cool. That's how we have it. Thanks, Zero CT Rider. I would need probably some kind of digital sensor to kind of read the oil temperature. I don't know exactly how much it cools. So that's it guys. I think I'm gonna wrap this one up. It was like an update of what I did in the last eight days. I didn't post much. I didn't post actually anything because I was away, as I've just told you. So check it out. Yeah, check out the, the items that I have on my uh, website. And the raffle is very soon, very, very close. So go ahead and pick up some items. I'm gonna like run home now and do some installs. I think I'm gonna do the, uh, the custom dynamics lights all upgrades gonna do that right now and again uh, post a separate video in the next few days wait 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 don't go don't go don't go i just remembered how could i even forget that a lot of people are asking me what is the name of the new bike of the 2022 lowrider st in gunship gray and you know what i have a lot of suggestions i still didn't decide yet but i i thought about it let's do a little challenge a little contest or whatever we want to call it I'm welcome to hear any suggestion you guys want. Just write down by the comments the name that you think is most, most appropriate for this beautiful new bike. It's vicious. It looks great. It's gunship gray, not silver. Any name that you choose, let me know down by the description. I'll ask my Patreons and the crew which top, which are the five, six top names. And then I'll put, um, I'll, and then we'll have a little, uh, I mean, little poll. We'll have a little poll posted. And you guys will finally decide which one. And the one that actually chooses the name, I'll give him a shirt. He'll get a, a nice shirt from a, a Holy Shift shirt and some stickers. How about that? So go ahead, down by the description, do me a favor. Please suggest a cool, appropriate name for my new, gray, beautiful Harley. Now you can go. Have a good one. Until the next video, guys. Peace out.